Welcome back to Smoker Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I'm going to be doing a USDA prime brisket, whole packer brisket supplied to me by Low Bells of New York. Fantastic looking brisket. Going to be doing it on the Lone Star Grills 24 by 36 offset smoker. Let's get busy. All right, what you're looking at is a USDA prime brisket from the good people over there at Low Bells of New York. I cannot find a prime brisket in my area. I just can't do it. The best I can find is choice. So I reached out to Low Bells of New York and asked them if they would like to help sponsor a brisket video. So here we go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this rub, and it's called the rub, my good friend Jason Ganahl with GQ Barbecue sent this out to me, received it yesterday, had to try it on this very first cook. Thank you, Jason. And Jason has a channel as well. He's actually a uh, competition barbecue guy, okay? He's won all kind of awards through Championship Barbecue, but now he owns a restaurant in uh, Denver, Colorado called GQ. This is his rub. We're gonna go ahead and start putting a liberal coat of this on both sides of this brisket. I have removed my top shelf. It's not needed on this cook. All right, I am using three probes with my grill eye. It's capable of holding up to six probes, but I only need three. I've got one on my firebox side, one on the opposite end, and this is going to be for the meat itself. Now I'm going to be cooking this brisket at a little bit hotter temperature than what I normally do. We're going to be rocking this somewhere between 275 and 300 right here in the center. We're going to insert a probe right here in the deepest part of the point. And there we go. Ready. All right, it's been two hours. We're going to take a look at this brisket, see how we're looking. Starting to get a nice color to it. All right, we got a long ways to go. Just want to show you where I'm at two hours into it. I turned this uh, brisket the last time I looked at it to where everything's kind of more center of the grill and cook more evenly. I had 192 on the grill eye. The grill eye is doing a fantastic job. And people is asking me, does, does it have a graph and everything? Yes, it does. Uh, it's completely programmable. You can... Matter of fact, I set this to a uh, brisket. I made up my own temperature for that. You know, instead of beef well done, I went to brisket at 210 degrees max. So anyway, let's see what we're reading on the instant read. We are reading 192 on the instant read. So obviously, this is a very accurate grill as well, the grill eye. Now back here on the flat, we're about 179. 179. So I'm gonna close this lid. We got a ways to go. Hey, I just real quick want to show you what I just got in. Bobby Brennan over at the Kamado Joe Company sent me out this Big Joe, Kamado Big Joe. This thing is fantastic. I just did some burgers on this a few minutes ago for another video altogether. This thing is working fantastic. Got a couple of more things we're gonna cook on it today, but uh. I'm not going to elaborate on this a whole lot. I will in the future. Just mainly just want to show it to you. And basically what happened is I made a post on Facebook. One of my videos, it was the prime rib video that uh, went over a million views. And I was using the Kamado Joe on that. And when Bobby read my post on that, he offered to send me this big Joe. And man, I'm very grateful, Bobby. Thank you again for this. It's going to be put to good use, guaranteed. 
All right, our brisket is done. It reached 210 degrees through and through one end to the other. I wrapped it. Now we got it going into the Zingle cooler. All right, this thing has actually been resting like three and a half hours. I had a good friend of mine. Actually, he's, he's the same friend that helped me unload the Longstar grills with his rollback tow truck, Robert Thompson. And he's been over here visiting and he's been eating some other food that I've been grilling. We've had a good time. So let's unveil this brisket here. Looking mighty fine to me. Let's see if I can move this off with any success. And it's still piping hot. Three hours later, three and a half hours. All right, let's check this bad boy out. You can see the grain running this way, which means we got to cut this way. All right, that's all we're going to go right now. Let's just take a look at this real quick look at the juice on that that's what I'm talking about let's do a pull test super tender look at that pulls right apart this is just super moist I mean you can see the moisture glistening in this and look how tender I mean no effort whatsoever none First off, I'm super impressed with what this tastes like, what the Lone Star Grills did to it. Once again, not over smoked in the, in the least, just a perfect amount of smoke. I'm absolutely loving this smoker. Lobel's of New York, perfect, perfect, prime, USDA prime brisket. Nice little smoke ring. What more could you want? Until next time, smoke your ribs.